um, AI that runs um, on the blockchain as a smart contract. Now, there's a lot of talk in Web3 and blockchain generally about you know the blockchain for AI, the token for AI, and so on. Um, this is something completely different. Um, this is AI that runs on the blockchain. So, uh, Definity, if you're not, not, a, not a familiar with the organization, um, is a not-for-profit foundation based in Switzerland. Um, for many years, we've operated the largest R&D um, operation in blockchain. Uh, we're blockchain maximalists, which means that we're trying to uh, drive a blockchain singularity through third generation blockchain that can play the role of cloud. So we want to move the world's compute, back-end compute, onto blockchain. We want blockchain to run the world's online services and enterprise systems and, and so on. The Divinity Foundation itself was established uh, back in October 2016. And uh, the internet computer network that you see today is the product of more than a thousand uh, person years of R&D effort. Uh, we, we employ um, a, a lot of famous cryptographers, uh, computer science researchers, and engineers, and you know that's reflected uh, in, in, in the nature of our work and things like academic citations. So the, the huge innovation of uh, the internet computer, which is the world's first third generation um, a blockchain, is that compute is now on blockchain at scale. So if you go to dashboard.internetcomputer.org, which is the main, main dashboard for the Internet Computer Network, you'll see this reflected in, in the number uh, of transactions it's, it's executing. So today, uh, the Internet Computer blockchain is processing the equivalent of about yeah, 330,000 Ethereum equivalent transactions every second uh, as measured by looking at the number of low-level smart contract instructions uh, being executed by the blockchain. That's actually a huge number. Um, you stop and consider for a moment, I think Ethereum's probably running maybe you know, 10 to 20 transactions a second. This thing's running um, north of 300,000 Ethereum equivalent transactions a second. Um, and, you know, we think that's going to go up a lot. I think with AI, uh, we're, we're going to exceed, uh, you know, a billion Ethereum equivalent transactions a second by the end of the year. And, you know, our plan is, uh, our desire is to drive this into the, you know, trillions of uh, Ethereum equivalent transactions a second. This is the um, world's first and only third generation, infinitely scalable uh, blockchain network that can play the role um, of cloud. So, you know, what's driving all of these, uh, all of this smart contract compute? Um, what's happening here is that developers have found on the internet computer they can build anything from smart contract software um, that runs, um, that, that enables them to build things like social networks that run 100% on the blockchain itself, um, people have built social networks, uh, all kinds of social media, uh, order book DEXs. That's like, you know, exchanges, DEXs that look like traditional exchanges. Rather than being, you know, a swap service like Uniswap, they look more like Coinbase or NASDAQ. Um, and they're running entirely on the blockchain. The smart contract software is even serving the, the user experience. And of course, now we're entering a new era where people can actually um, run AI as smart contracts uh, on, on the blockchain network itself. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So uh, before proceeding to talk a bit more about the AI, um, I just want to talk a bit about smart contracts. Um, how on earth is it that you know, smart contract software on the internet computer can, can run AI? The answer is that, uh, 
you know, uh, they really have very different capabilities. A single smart contract um, can store up to 400 gigabytes of data in stable memory on the internet computer. Um, it, it can run in four gigabytes of uh, dedicated uh, main memory, which is, which is soon going to be increased, uh, which is important for AI. Um, they run WebAssembly bytecode, which is incredibly efficient. Actually, uh, the sort of co-inventor of WebAssembly was an early uh, Divinity. Uh, internet computer smart contracts uh, support something called reverse gas. Reverse gas means that the smart contracts pay for their own computation. So it's more like cloud. With traditional blockchains, you know, if you're interacting with Ethereum, you use MetaMask to create transactions, and you configure the payment for the computation in every transaction manually. Um, that's not necessary on the internet computer. These smart contracts pay for their own computation. Uh, of course, these smart contracts run in parallel. That's how the network's able to uh, scale computation. Um, they do things like multi-block transactions. So a traditional blockchain, on a traditional blockchain like Ethereum, um, when you invoke a smart contract, the computation has to complete within a single block. On the internet computer, transactions uh, can span, computations can span multiple blocks, which is very important for AI. Uh, internet computer smart contracts process uh, HTTP so they can serve interactive web experiences. They're fast and low cost. I'm talking about cost and efficiency, and I'm talking about that. They're thousands of times more efficient than, block, than smart contracts on traditional blockchains. Um, they're multi-chain. They can interact with other blockchains. They can make in, uh, calls out to Web2. Um, you can automate uh, internet computer smart contracts um, using DAOs. And of course, lastly, uh, the AI capable, which is what we're going to talk about. So um, if you haven't seen it, I invite you to, to, to check out my uh, recent demo of fully decentralized AI on my Twitter profile. So recently, I demonstrated um, a neural network running as a smart contract on the internet computer blockchain. This neural network uh, did image classification. So in the demo, um, you know, I, I, I showed off a uh, neural network that could look at an image. And in this case here, you can see that the neural network has identified that this picture uh, is of an espresso um, with, a, with a, a coffee cup and some, on some kind of jeans material. So we believe AI will be at the beating heart of, of Web3. And um, I sort of invite you to dream with me how AI running on the blockchain uh, might be used. So example number one, Ethereum safety. So this is a common problem. You can uh, use a blockchain explorer like Etherscan to examine a smart contract, for example, a DeFi smart contract on Ethereum. And you can see the source code of the smart contract. Uh, the blockchain explorer will you know, match the code hash to source code on GitHub, and it'll show you the code. The problem is, how do you know if you can trust that code? Uh, most people um, aren't software engineers. They can't read Solidity. And even software engineers don't have time to audit other people's code. So is it vulnerable to re-entrancy? Are there back doors that make it vulnerable to a rug pull? Uh, is there malware inside that may, might make this smart contract um, behave maliciously with respect to other smart contracts? This is a huge problem um, with traditional blockchain. So one solution is to use an AI smart contract running on the internet computer. This AI smart contract could browse Ethereum smart contracts and validate that there are no re-entrancy vulnerabilities, there are no backdoors, um, and there's no malware inside. And then issue a certification that can be displayed by websites like Etherscan that can then say, here's the code. You may not want to read it. You may not understand it, but it's OK. The AI has ordered it for you. And this can provide an extra level of assurance um, to people that want to interact with, with DeFi. OK, next example, autonomous KYC. So KYC uh, is know your customer. It's a sort of financial process like anti-money laundering. So a 
coming problem is that DEXs, decentralized exchanges, are going to want to list security tokens. Um, security tokens will, will represent things like stock, uh, debt, um, real estate, gold, that, that kind of thing. And the security space is very, very highly regulated. So in order for a DEX to list a security token, um, then it is minimally going to have to do KYC, know your customer, right? identify the people trading the security. The challenge is a DEX is decentralized, right? It's created with smart contracts. So how can a smart contract do KYC? Um, the DGEN wants it to securities, but you know, how can a DEX do KYC? So again, you know, AI smart contracts can provide a solution. So actually, the the, uh, the image classification neural network that I demonstrated uh, in that video on Twitter, that neural network has already been um, retrained to do um, face recognition. So you can create a smart contract that will interact with a user over video and verify that the person on the video matches an identity document that they provide, provided. And, and this can be done entirely autonomously um, in a way that will integrate with the DEX. So you know, the AI smart contract can do the KYC, issue a web free credential to a system like Internet Identity, which then allows uh, the trader into the DEX. If you're, if you're interested, um, this is something that's just been built by a team in Shenzhen. Um, go to icdex.io. That thing runs entirely um, on the blockchain. Even the user experience is printed by smart contracts, and it runs under the control of a DAO. So all the updates to the exchanges, logic, are transparent. OK, last example before I run out of time. Organizational intelligence. So here we um, imagine a large language model that is run by startups, companies, government departments, that kind of thing. And, and the purpose of this large language model is to um, in, in improve the organizational efficiency uh, by acting as a kind of glue and a nexus um, of, of information. So the idea is that this um, large language model would feed off sources of data like chat, email, calendar, and if it was a technical organization, things like GitHub and, and Jira. And individuals uh, in the organization would interact with the um, AI, they'd give it information, and they'd, they'd say things like, you know, my team is blocked by this, or I've got an idea, a great idea. And then, you know, people like me could say, hey, um, Hey AI, has my uh, CTO got a free meeting slot this afternoon? Uh, who's running this team? Are they blocked by anything? Has anybody got any ideas for PR, that kind of thing? Now, the question we have to ask is, what would happen if this AI is running on traditional IT infrastructure and, and gets hacked? If somebody hacks the infrastructure running this AI, they're going to have access to all your most confidential information in one place. Traditional IT infrastructure isn't secure. Secondly, um, we have to ask the question, what if this AI stops? So in the future, you know, we're going to come to depend on AI in much the same way we've, we've come to depend on SatNav to navigate cities. Um, and traditional IT infrastructure is not resilient. So, of course, the solution is to run the, this organizational AI, this large language model acts as a glue um, that makes the organization more efficient, um, is to run that large language model as, as a smart contract. And, you know, in that way, we can leverage these incredible properties of smart contracts. You know, AI smart contracts, just like any other smart contract, are tamper-proof. That means they're secure. They guarantee They'll always run the correct data against the, uh, the correct code against the correct data. They're unstoppable. They don't crash. That means they're resilient and they can be autonomous. Um, it's a te intelligence that's, that's decentralized. And today, that's only possible on the internet computer. So I invite you to join us. Uh, we have hubs, networks going up all over the world. Um, there's a hubs organization here in Hong Kong. Um, if you would like to contact us, um, 
please use these details, and that QR code will take you to the internet computer um, website. So, thank you, everyone. Thanks. Just Big round of applause for Dominic. Thank you so much. Brilliant presentation. Thank you.